Alright, hi guys and welcome back to another video on Plan Swift. Right, so for today we're going to be talking about CAD files. Right, so Plan Swift can load in a variety of uh, different file formats. Uh, to put it simply, you can load in image files such as uh, TIFF, JPEG, PNG. You can load in PDFs as well. So when you talk about PDFs, they can be scanned PDFs. They can be clear PDFs as well. So both of them are possible. And last of all is CAD files. Right, so you have different file formats, uh, DXF, DWF, and also DWG. Right, so the most common file format probably will be DWG. Right, so from my screen right now, I have loaded in a CAD file, which is a DWG. Right, so usually what happens is that the first, uh, the first file that comes in, right, will be your model space. Right, so for those who do not know uh, about the uh, background of CAD drawings, Usually when drafters um, so-called draw in AutoCAD, they usually draw in what you call the model space, which is what you're seeing right now. So the model space is like a very large uh, blank canvas where they will usually draw in a scale of 1 is to 1. Right, so that is your model space. So when you receive a CAD file, you will definitely have both of them inside, the model space and another one which is called paper space. Right, so it's important to take note that whatever that's inside the model space will likely be messy. Right, that means there will likely be some copies of the same uh, floor plan being copy pasted in other areas and they usually tend to be pretty big. Right, the next one that comes in will be your layout. Right, so it is perfectly possible for any uh, DWG file to have multiple layouts. Right? They can have one, two, three, any number. Right, so a layout is basically a snapshot or a cutout of their model space in which they apply a scale to it, which is why you see a title block and you see all the relevant scales there are. Right, so it's very normal to have multiple layouts if uh, if that uh, model space file happens to have uh, to contain many details or many plans, many elevations, so on and so forth. Right, so now the first thing that you notice all the time is that when you load in, the background will be white. Right, for those who are used to AutoCAD, uh, like me, uh, you may not like to see it uh, with a white background. You can actually go over to Settings, go under Graphics, and then tick this box. Right, so what will happen next is that when you go back to the drawing itself, you will see that the drawing, uh, the drawing background will actually change uh, similar to what you see in AutoCAD, which is a black background, which is what you see on the screen right now. Okay, now a few tips um, to to work around uh, with the cat files, right? The it is both a good and a bad thing, of course, because when you load in any cat file, it comes in in color, right? And colors are born from the layers, right? So every single color that you see here actually constitutes to a particular layer, right? So you can actually take a look at the layers over here in this button. So when you when you open up, you will see all the available cat layers which the drafter has actually placed in it. Right, so over here, what you can do, you can actually hide the layers, you can choose to turn on certain layers, so it can help you with the processing time on your computer, if you choose to turn off certain layers that are not, uh, they are not important, you do not need uh, them to actually um, do your work, right, so those can be helpful, okay, so you can actually search uh, for the layer as well, so if you type in fire, they will just, um, they will just filter out for you, tell you which one is under fire, which one is under not. Right, so those are layers, right, those are uh, layers on a good, uh, for a good example of layers, right, uh, but most of the time when you are faced with this many colors and you try to uh, measure off certain items, so let's say for example if I go over to my count and I start to count certain items, right, so let's say I count, I finish, what will happen is that you, you also do notice that uh, it is generally an issue because the colors here may or may not be very similar to your existing colors on your layer itself, right? So in certain special cases, for you to actually identify what, uh, where exactly your measurements are away from the base drawing, you may want to go to settings and then switch this convert colored cat to black and white. Right, so what they will what they will do is that they will actually convert the entire colored cat drawing into a black and white. 
right you can choose to turn it back on anytime you want it's just that when you are trying to measure you may want to have it in this manner so you can see where your measurement is right much clearer than having a colored cat drawing right so now uh, of, of course the next question is uh, which one should you use uh, should you use a DWG or should you use a PDF right so a lot of it depends on uh, first of all the the drawings you are even dealt with in the first place so for a lot of quantity surveyors during the tender phase uh, it is considered a luxury to receive even a cat file right so cat files are generally um, associated with accuracy um, so if you are very particular about accuracy and quality you may want to go for uh, you may want to use a cat file because it allows you to snap to the particular points because it is what you call a vector file right but also important to take note that uh, right now there are also vector PDFs right so uh, if you do have a vector PDF uh, the person exporting them to you can also export the vector PDF to you with the layers attached to it right so honestly speaking there isn't too much of a difference uh, between loading as a DWG and loading as a, a vector PDF right so for most of the uh, for, for most of if you want to have a good balance of speed and also accuracy a vector PDF is actually the way to go right of course uh, if you need to load in drawings just for reference that means you don't need it for accuracy you just need it for quick reference right really you can just load it in as a raster PDF which is what you call your scan PDFs right so I hope uh, this sharing about uh, cat files has helped you out with your usage of PlanSwift right thank you see you again